ditch the dream, be a doer. Do more than dream. Don't be a dreamer. Dreams are just dreams. Hard work makes dreams come true. These are all phrases that uh, I heard from doing some research into Shonda Rhimes. My name is Marisha Trembetska, and this is my Love Your Creativity and Make Money podcast. And for those of you who don't know, although I know many of you well, Shonda Rhimes created, as in she's a writer and TV producer, and now exec exec TV producer, she created shows like Grey's Anatomy, Private Practice, Scandal, under her She's also executive produced shows like How to Get Away with Murder. And of course, she's done the recent Bridgerton series on Netflix, which if you haven't watched it, I have to say don't because it's so fantastic. You will watch all eight episodes in one go. (laughs) Complete escapism. Really hot then. Everyone's beautiful. Uh, Always a lot of sex. Escapism balls. Oh, it's just wonderful. Uh, Really good mixed casting. Yeah, it's just fabulous based on eight novels by Julia Quinn. So we've got another seven series to go. But the reason I was really uh, digging down into Shonda Rhimes is that I had decided I was going to do an episode about her for my Singing Psychic podcast, which uh, many of you may listen to, where, uh, as my comedy character, The Singing Psychic, um, well, The Singing Psychic walks through a world of music. Songs literally appear to her as she walks through a crowd. You can hear songs in people's hearts. And she also looks at the songs around people's birthdays. And and she also has her very own singing psychic uh, fortune telling cards, as in four tunes, as in four songs. So it's a whole thing. There's a game show. There's how many web series now? Five, I think. The first one our show appeared in 2015. Um, But it's been a, a show and a character I've worked on in many ways and kind of yeah I've done gigs from Australia to doing a TEDx talk as a but every week I've been making a podcast and I not only do I give you a song of the week so the song of the week ahead as a singing psychic to inspire you um but also to look often at the songs around when people were born and this week's episode was about Shonda Rhimes because I have heard her speak back I believe it was MIPCOM or MIP TV one of the Cannes Film Festivals She's an amazing woman. She is a single parent. She's got three daughters and she's got Shondaland. She, at one point, she, Thursday night was her night on TV because she, she makes and gets involved with these huge behemoth shows that tell amazing stories. And she just works all the time. And in 2015, she actually released a book called The Year of Yes, How to Dance It Out, Stand in the Sun and Be Your Own Person. And, it, and she says it starts with saying yes to whatever she's asked, be it public, public speaking, which she hated, to one of her daughters asking her to play. She openly acknowledges that she's a workaholic, but she's managed to find some kind of balance. And while I was researching for doing my singing psychic episode, obviously she's got some fabulous songs in such a fierce woman's heart. I watched, she did a TEDx talk on her year of yes, and she also did a commencement address for her college so obviously I watched them fascinated and I thought, wow, I know this is going to be good for singing psychic, but I really wanted to pass what I'd heard on to you. And these are all things we know, but it's just when someone is that successful and that brilliant, then uh, I always think it's worth repeating. Her big thing is dreams are just dreams. Hard work creates the work. You've just got to get on with it. Ditch the dream, she says, and be a doer. You can chatter about dreams. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to write this novel. I'm going to write this show out, blah, blah, blah. It's just talk until you do it. I know there's a certain amount of processing, but generally, in my sad opinion, you start processing when you start making the steps to um, unravel what your story is or start doing character development. It doesn't matter if it's a song or a show or a film or any time you start taking constructive steps forward, that's when it really gets moving. So this is just this week's have a think about ditch the dream and be a doer where can you stop talking about making a project and start actually making some action forward Shonda Rhimes in her commencement address spoke about being at university all she wanted to be was a writer and she wanted to be Toni Morrison the you know the amazing author the problem is of course Toni Morrison is already Toni Morrison and she said many many years later she met Toni Morrison and all Toni Morrison wanted to talk about was Grey's Anatomy obviously because her ability to weave stories and strands and, you know, she just understands how to move a story. And she just says she just works all the time. 
She also said, which I think is really true, that she doesn't do it all. She realises that when she is doing and succeeding in one area of her life, she knows she's failing in another when she's doing really well because when she's doing something like 70 hours of television, 70 hours of TV per season with a budget of about $350 million. I mean, this is a powerhouse of a woman, amazing. But she always understands that if she stops to play with her children, then she doesn't get to go to the meeting about the rewrites when you're making one episode of television every nine days and she's got four shows on often at the same time. She also said her dream job is all blood sweat. And she works a lot and she loves it. But she's also realised she needs a balance. But it, it's made me think because I've got my new uh, show idea and I keep saying I've booked in to speak to a director once a week to help me kind of develop ideas over Zoom. Have I then started that process? No, because I keep being so busy. I don't know how I'm this busy in January. I'm very grateful I'm busy. Uh, but um, I seem to be very busy. I'm so aware of how lucky I am to have a roof over my head and money in the bank and have my parents still on the planet and my family, my extended family as well, is all well and fine. But I also understand we're all struggling. But there is also a great joy in just going after your dream because actually when you're making the actions to get obsessive about getting something finished, we can let the worries of the world fall away and we focus in on actually the thing that gives us joy and hopefully gives others joy. So I hope you have a great week i'll be back next thursday obviously um but have a think about ditch the dream be a doer and where you can do that on one of your projects where can we make us be the doer where what can we do can we book a a free online class can we promise we'll draw something for someone's birthday what little deadline can we put in place that means we've just got to be the doer and not just the dreamer so there we are there's us thoughts of the week uh, i hope you're having a really manageable okay and your mental health is is kind of okay i'm now have resorted to i'm cooking up a storm for one I, i'm li- i live on my own and i'm self-isolating so i've been making amazing chicken soups i normally make beetroot but chicken this week i've been making these oat protein pancakes with oats and blueberries and ginger and vanilla and all kinds of tasty things i've just been cooking up a storm and i've even started doing a bit of exercise again otherwise i am going to turn up looking not very healthy but there we are <laughs> We will get through this, I know it. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. All day, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome. Day. I've just sang that uh, obviously with that what warming up it reminded me I, I sang it with about nine other sopranos at a massive concert at the Royal Festival Hall it was the gay men's choir I'm sure there's a fuller name for it it was a gay men's choir amazing concert only men and then we got to come on and sing We Shall Overcome after the break as women and a couple of friends of mine in the audience said it was actually quite nice to have some female voices after all these amazing men for 45 minutes But it reminds me, we shall overcome this, but ditch the dream, be a doer. My name is Marisha Trembetska. For my Love Your Creativity and Make Money podcast, you'll find me at at Marisha T on Instagram, Twitter, Marisha Trembetska on Facebook. If you want to book me as an actor, then of course contact my agent, Dulcie Houston at CCA Management. And we'll all go from there. Cool. Be well. Bye. You know I need you so bad. But I know